Hi everyone, Gab from Gab Tractors again. Thanks for joining me today in my shed area. Um, today, another rehousing video, but uh, something I don't need to do, but I want to do anyway. So if you enjoy my content, just uh, remember to give me comments and everything, and like it and subscribe. But what I'm going to do is I've emptied out one of these little glass enclosures, cleaned it all out. But what was in there was, I'll show you here. You see that one, a sub-adult or a large juvia, say sub-adult uh, Caribbean Aversi colour, so the Antilles Pink Toe. And the last one, if you follow my channel, I had uh, matured out into a male and I had to send it away, so I was a bit gutted. I raised it from a sling, raised this one from a sling as well, and this one's getting on. But every malt I cannot sex absolutely annihilates the uh, abdomen, so I've not been able to do that yet. So hoping on the next one I can get a good malt but uh, the reason i'm doing that is moving it into a bigger enclosure so it has more room um, and i can get in and get the malt out because it just does it in a space in that glass enclosure that i can't really get to without stressing the spider until the spider moves and i don't like doing that so we will rehouse this into another closure i have that's got something in so into this big one here so i have to clean this out and i'm going to empty all of this out here because what's in there if you can see down there is an abdomen and in there is if i could say it properly a gorgiella species uh, african red trapdoor spider but it's come at a perfect time because in here i have a little bit of mold I've cleaned out the top i clean it out sometimes um move some of the layers where i get that debris from what it's been eating but i just need to clean it out have a good look at this one because i've not seen it in probably a year um, but i know it's in there and it's only fed a couple of times so Get this one out have a look at it and then i can rehouse that and then we can use this for the versicolor which gives it a lot more room probably put a cork tube in the middle and then i'll be able to get in and maybe get a good malt to sex it with so let's crack on with that right so the only thing i can do really is just start excavating this and we know she's there look you can see the abdomen so i think she's a fairly decent size did malt want to my care but as you can see there's malt and mold down there as well because she does take some of her boluses from the food she brings up to the top but others she don't she leaves down here in the burrow so i need to get this out because i've had another burrowing species that i did lose because it just stopped bringing the food out the food waste and then ended up getting mold on itself and dying so this is perfect timing so i'll see if we can keep her there Right, so as you can see in there, I've got the majority of the uh, substrate out, but just there is her flap. I uh, probably shouldn't have put my fingers that close, but now that I've moved it around, I know she's not going to come out to the top anyway, because any movement in the container, she never comes up, she backs down. So let's get rid of this, and then I'll start breaking that down. Okay, I'm back. Let's go with this one. Go If you can see her, there you go, you can see her in there. So let's see, I think this will stay quite intact because she's done the tube quite well. So let's see if we can just get the remainder out from around her. It's amazing the strength of it, really. Right. I've took out the whole chamber, as you can see there, and she's in here. So I'm going to need to see if I can just break this down and remove her out if you can see her, i'm literally right there next to her but it's the only way to get her to come out for a minute Get rid of that. There we go, so got it all open. Catch cup ready. So I'm gonna have to try and get her in, but I wanna give you a chance of having a look yet. Just do that for a 
second. So I can put her in here first. She's looking very well fed, but these are supposed to be so aggressive and will strike, but nothing whatsoever. So you can see on there, there's a couple of little green spots of mold, which was in the bottom of her enclosure, which I've just brushed onto her now. But that's what happened to one of our previous species and it just covered the actual spider and then the spider died. So I've actually rescued this one in brilliant time, but she's a very good size but not aggressive at all. She just wants to hide. She doesn't like the light at all. So we'll just do a rehouse of this one. I have to do a temporary burrow and see if she'll scuttle straight in straight away. So that's quite an easy catch. Right, so as you see in this one here, I'm gonna rehouse the, um, I've cleaned it out. And I'm gonna put the trapdoor spider in because it doesn't like the light and very uncomfortable being outside of its burrow. So I don't wanna stress her out any more than I need to. So I just need to compact this down. Okay, so it's nice and compact, so it will hold its form. Right, so this is the front, and I need to do a starter hole for her. But what I'm gonna do is do it just here. But right on the glass, so I have hopefully a viewing window. And then hopefully she will, if I can get some footage of her making, her um, trapdoor would be amazing. But she should pretty much go straight in here and then she should just start building it straight away because they don't like being vulnerable. Water dish. Right, so we can see this, let's get her back in. Okay, there she is. So, let's have a look. See that there, then you can see, I'll turn this around. Go. There we have her. Let's see if I can get her to go into the hole. Come on. No, you don't want to move. So we'll do it with the lid. There's a hole there, look. Come on. There you go, so she should start straight away. So what I need to do is just get her out of the light. If it's a lot darker, she'll start doing what she needs to do. And we'll, um, I'll show you what she's like afterwards. Okay, I think I interrupted her building her hole. She went straight into threat pose. And I know that she can sit there for quite some time now. Um, so I think we'll just leave her be and uh, at least we had a good look at the red African trapdoor spider.
Right, okay, so I do believe that is all we need for this enclosure. As you can see. Some decoration to make it look a little bit prettier. Very nice cork white tube, dead center, hole in the middle there. Plant and nice long and deep. So let's get the verse color in. There we have the verse. I'm so hoping for a female. Um, I've got high hopes for this one at the minute. I do think it is a female because the male I had previously that um, matured straight away and had to send it off. It looked a bit more leggier and wasn't as plump as this one. So I'm so hoping this is a female. But let's see if I can get this one straight in. Come on. Come on, look, I've got a good home for you there. There you go. There you go, look. Get your foot off. I think you'll agree that looks better straight away. See, I've crossed fingers, crossed everything for this one to be a female. And you can see the purple sheen going right down to the feet there. Absolutely beautiful coloration, but um, like I say, that's definitely a very nice container and suits this one perfectly. So I will hope she'll enjoy this one as well. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, thumbs it up, and leave a comment below. Thank you.